stifling. Good chance we could reach triple digits out there today. And yeah, it's really hot, but record temperatures in that upper one, one single digits category. I guess I don't know how you say that. 1934, though, was the record for today. And uh, we set that again in 1934. 107 degrees for the record for tomorrow. So still hot ones by all accounts. You look out there right now, kind of a haze off into the distance. That temperature sits at 91 degrees. Feels like temperatures already bordering 100 degrees. So again, if you head outside, I can't stress this enough. Just take those breaks and stay hydrated and stay safe. 94 degrees right now in Ottumwa. Areas to the north a bit cooler. 79 for Decorah. Waterloo coming in at 85. So if we do reach 100 degrees out there today, know that in just 10 minutes, that temperature will rifle up to 119 degrees, 20 minutes, 130. And beyond that, it just gets downright dangerous as we head into the 140s with, uh, with time around 50 to 60 minutes. So yeah, a hot one by all accounts. Haven't seen that brew any storms just yet. Uh, you just look off to the east, got a few isolated showers and then a little bit further to the west. We can see some cloud cover pushing in scattered showers into central portions of Nebraska. But by and large, skies are clear across a good portion of the Midwest. And again, we're not the only ones that are going to be stuck in this heat from the metro all the way down through Kansas City. Eastward towards St. Louis is the extent of that excessive heat warning. So if you are traveling south, I would almost plan on a couple degrees warmer in that direction. Otherwise, if you're traveling eastward, temperatures in the middle 80s with chances for a few showers and thunderstorms. I wish I could say we've got a couple chances out there, but it's really going to be hit or miss out there today. You can see on Futurecast by 8 p.m., kind of bringing in a dribbler westward, maybe not quite to Lake Panorama, and even further west at 2 a.m., chances for an isolated shower, thunderstorm up near Fort Dodge. That's going to continue to push eastward into the morning hours, so another good clip of rain for the northern third of the state or so, but really few or far between as you head throughout the day on Friday as well. Still could see a shower or a thunderstorm to the north, even a stronger storm in that neck of the woods. But most of the rain is going to miss the state, and I know that we desperately need it in spots. We have got over 58% of the state in some stage of drought, and a quarter of the state, you can see in this lighter tan color here, that is moderate drought. So this is only going to continue to get worse as we head into the next week without a whole lot of rain planned. So by this evening, 8 p.m., still looking at heat indices in excess of 100 degrees for central and southern portions of the state. And we look out there tomorrow, we're back up into roughly the same range that we're seeing out there today. So plan on an extended stretch of some just really hot and stifling air. Got a couple days near the century mark, both Thursday and Friday. After that, temperatures cooling back down to a much more man manageable mid-80s by Monday. But Notice we are lacking that many chances for rain.